Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Andrew and in this video we have two things. One is the Nokia N73 Music Edition and the second is some leftovers from iPhone 3G. Also, sometimes this phone will start up, but sometimes not. And when the phone is turned on, the battery is drying very fast. From the outside the case is in a pretty bad shape. It's a little broken, cracked in some places, but anyway, this is a pretty old phone. The iPhone 3G is a different story. I got this phone from a case from PSP. The parts are looking ok, with no visible damage. And in the case I found a very few screws, which are not allowed for this iPhone. Also, I don't know, is this iPhone going to work or not, but I'm gonna come to that part later. And first let's start with the Nokia N73. The N73 isn't hard to disassemble, the case is easy removable, and from the inside are 7 screws in total. 6 screws are to the front side, and the 7 screw is under the display. When I took the front case, I saw that this phone is pretty corroded. So this is why sometimes I can turn on this phone and sometimes not. And the battery drain is coming from some short circuit probably. And this is a water or liquid damaged phone. Removing the parts from the inside is a little bit difficult. Because of corrosion. I mean the parts are sticked all together. And here I had to be a super careful. Because I have a very few spare parts. Even finding a new quality spare parts is difficult nowadays. After I finish with disassembling, I start with sorting and checking the parts. I mean what is good and worthy and what can be used and etc. And also I start with planning, how to clean and recover some parts from corrosion and dirt. And after that I start with cleaning. To clean the components I use brushes, 96% isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds and to some points I used a very fine 500 grit sandpaper. And if I need some additional drying, I can use just a hair dryer. It's simple. Nothing special and it's easy to work with. The part with the joystick, card reader and the keyboard is pretty dirty and corroded. Here I start with a basic cleaning first and now to remove most of the dust and dirt and then I used a very fine sandpaper to remove the remaining corrosion. After I remove the corrosion, again I reclean the whole part using brushes and the legendary isopropyl alcohol. The display is corroded as well, and here I use the same method as before. But here I had to be more careful. I cannot use too much alcohol because it may enter to the inside of the display and dissolve, I mean damage, some of the display layers. 
and I had to be careful to not break or scratch the display. The display has already a few minor scratches, so I don't need some extra few more. After cleaning, the display is looking much better. To the front side we have a few scratches from before, but these scratches are not affecting anything. When the phone is in the case and turn it on, nothing is visible, nor some shadows to the display or anything similar. The other smaller components are easier to clean, so carefully I clean any single part from all sides around. The inner metal display bezel is pretty sticky. This is very usual after many years of use, so some glues and these stickers are starting to falling apart. The mid metal part of the phone is the most corroded, and to clean this part I used dermal with the brushing heads, isopropyl alcohol, and after all I washed this part in vinegar and baking soda. And finally, all the parts are clean and ready to assemble. For the Nokia N73 I bought a new case and this is a white and a soft pink combination. I actually want to get a black case as before or a white and pearl, but these colors were unavailable in AAA plus quality. I'm done with assembling. I turn on the N73 just to check it, and as well, I do more tests on this phone, and this phone is working perfectly fine. But now let's move to the iPhone 3G. The iPhone 3G, I got it already in parts, and all the parts are in the case from PSP. So carefully, I took out all the parts first. And when I start with additional checking, I found that many screws are missing and nothing else. First I start with removing the other parts from the case. Some screws here are corroded as well. After I took out a cable with a volume and other buttons, I remove the other parts from the case. I mean the antenna, which is in the top part. Before I continue with anything here, first I need to check this phone. I mean, I need to know is this iPhone still working or not. I connect the basic parts, like the charging port, the motherboard, the buttons and the display, and I connect the phone to the charger. At first nothing happens, but later I place the battery, and after a couple of minutes the Apple logo has appeared, and later I saw the iTunes logo, which means that this phone needs to be restored. But for sure I cannot restore in this condition, first I need to assemble this phone. But before anything I move to clean all the parts from dirt and dust. To clean the parts I used just the usual things as always. I mean isopropyl alcohol, brushes and cotton buds. I spot a little corrosion to the motherboard as well, but this is nothing compared to the N73. But anyway, I cross over in-depth cleaning as well.
and after finish with cleaning, it's time to place all the parts in a new case. So for this phone I found a new case, I mean the back part with the bezel. Assembling the iPhone 3G isn't hard, just the cables are a little tricky to place. Also I have to find some of the missing screws, because the screws that I got in the case are not allowed to assemble the whole phone. Before I place the final screws, I connect the charger again for one more check. Now the battery shows that it's empty, so I left the phone for a couple of hours until the battery gets a little charged. And after the battery gets a little bit charged, I place the final screws and I start with the iPhone Restore. And at this point I have a little problems. At first I cannot restore the iPhone and I cannot put in full DFU mode. And a long story short, I had to use some additional tools to make this phone work. Anyway, after some time of messing with this iPhone, finally I restore it to the iOS 4.2.1, which is also the latest supported iOS on the iPhone 3G. And as well. I run a couple of tests to be sure that this phone is working and everything is working just fine, which I didn't expect considering the condition and how I got this phone. Also for this phone I got a small dock. This thing is very old, but it's still new and never opened. Also, I must test this dock, and the dock is just working normally. Well, and after all these changes, these are the boat results. And a few words about. The Nokia N73 was released back in 2006, which is 17 years ago, and the iPhone 3G is released back in 2008, which is 15 years ago. The both phones are unique in their history. The Nokia N73 was released when the Nokia phones were at its peak, and the iPhone 3G is the second released phone by Apple. The Nokia N73 comes with a different specs compared with the iPhone 3G, like with a better cameras, more apps and games, better customization and more built-in options. On the other side, the iPhone has some unique features as well, like a larger display, Wi-Fi and a different options and abilities. Actually the both phones are smartphones, which are from early era. The Nokia is coming with a Symbian operating system and the iPhone 3G is coming with a well-known iOS. Also the both phones can be still used, I mean for some basic things like calls and text messages and as well to play around with some older apps and games. Anyway, now the both phones are part from some nice history. Well, and this is all about the Nokia N73 and the iPhone 3G, and I'm very glad that I bagged the boat in a function again. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to back in function some stuff, maybe some touch or anything else. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.